everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we're gonna be making some little baskets and they're so cute and easy to do. I haven't finished this one yet, but I really wanted to already show you the decorations I have here. Uh, little ornaments, just using paper flowers, nothing really fancy. And of course, you can choose your colors and use what you have in your stash. This is another one using a little uh, different uh, decorations, but the same kind of flowers. And also, it looks completely different. It's higher, it's exactly, it's using exactly the same doily, not a bigger doily, the same doily, but using different molds or ways to give it the shape. So this one is a bit larger and I have put different colors in here. Uh, they're iridescent color. And look at this. I really want to show you this, uh, the way I put the flowers. I think this is so cute. Look at that. Isn't this nice? It's really uh, lightweight little flowers. I've actually colored the flowers because I didn't have the right color so I'll show you that also and here I've painted just the back of it I'm I didn't finish it I, as I said as you can see uh, in a gold color I just wanted to give it a try and I think I like it so I'm gonna keep on going I wasn't sure exactly in the beginning and this one I wanted to make like three colors there's some blue there's a light orange here and some pink but of course you can leave them uh, completely white and this is just using doily like this. this is not paper doily this is cotton and uh, I found this one really few cents uh, in a shop uh, and I saw I thought okay for that price I'm gonna buy a few of them and gonna make baskets so let's go directly to the table and start making these what you will need for this project are of course a doily but if you don't have a doily, you could also use any kind of fabric. But I would consider using some kind of, you know, already not stiff, but a uh, uh, thick fabric. Because if it's too lightweight, it's not going to keep in shape, its shape, even with the glue. So something that is either thick, then can drink a lot of, or hold a lot of this glue, or um, something that is a bit sturdy. You can use jute, for example, that would do the trick, but something that is also natural, like cotton, that would be excellent. You would need a mixing bowl, a spoon, water, this is just regular tap water, um, PVA glue, I always use uh, Elmer's glue because it's really cheap and I buy it by the gallon. And don't use school glue because it's already watered down very much, so um, it's not easy then to add water to it. And then you will need a bowl or a glass or anything you want to use to put your doily in shape. So you can put it inside, you can put it outside, that's really up to you how you want your dolly to be. The, the shape is going to be totally different whether it's inside, outside, if it's a big one or if it's a smaller one. So that's really up to you. Up to you. And, you know, it's really cheap. If you want to make several of these, I would recommend doing that. That would be great. So then you can choose. So first, what I'm going to do is pour my glue inside here. And the ratio is about 50 for 50%. 50 and I know that there are fabric stiffeners, but they're really... I, I think they're very expensive and using regular glue is just fine. So I honestly put more glue than water um, because I think it's better like maybe 60, 40, 60% 60 glue, 40% water. And I have to admit, I eyeball it. I always eyeball it. If you want to measure, just measure. That's how you feel about it do it and I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't want to put too much. I prefer to add more water if I need to. Then, um, yeah, I mean, you can't take it away, obviously. So, and I already know that I think I'm going to have to use a bit more glue. Let's see. First, you need to really mix thoroughly because all the water needs to be completely absorbed by the glue. And why do I say that you need to have some kind of fabric that is natural? It's because if it's synthetic material, the glue is not going to really do anything to it. So that's why the more cotton you have inside, the better it's going to be. You could do this with a pair of jeans, old jeans as well. That works also pretty well. And I think I need to add more glue. But you see, it's, it's like a creamy... Um, it's heavier than milk, but not as heavy as 
not as heavy as um, sour cream. It needs to be kind of in the middle. And I'm not sure I'm going to have enough for my doily anyway. And I'm going to do probably several doilies. So I'm just adding a little bit of more glue. See, it's really going very fast. I'm doing this real time. And on your table, I have here a sheet of paper and underneath I put aluminum foil just to protect my surface because it's going to sink through my paper. And I want I don't want to contaminate and have glue everywhere. And I you don't have to wear gloves. I just did that because to be honest, I just did my nails and I don't want this glue to be cut up in my nails. That's the only reason why. Sorry, I'm just touching the camera because I want to make sure that you have enough light. Okay, I think this is really good now. The right consistency. I'm going to leave this here, maybe just, or I'm going to put it aside. So there are two ways of really doing it. Um, so the, the, the longest way is to use a paintbrush, but you need to use a stiff brush, like a stipple brush, if you really want to go in there in all the crevices, because you need to really press down, let me show you, you really need to press down to make sure that your glue is sinking everywhere into your fabric. But it's going to take a whole lot of time. So for me, the easiest way to go for it is just to dip my fabric here, my doily, into the glue. And let it sink there for maybe a few minutes, you know, and you need to knead, actually, yes, your doily just to make sure that you're going to have this glue really everywhere. So take your time here. That's a really important step. Make sure it's going everywhere. But be gentle because you can see here there are a lot of holes in my doily and I don't want to tear it apart because it's getting more, fra for, uh, more fragile right now. So, and I don't have too much glue actually because I can see that and feel that it's really drinking this whole glue. That baby was thirsty. So depending on how you want it, we're going to be able to decorate it and even paint it. You can do it before or after, but if you paint it before, if you're using acrylic paint, it's gone, the glue is not going to work, okay? Because acrylic is going to act like a shield, like a, a barrier around your doily, and you won't be able to really put it in shape that well. And if you use watercolor, because there is water in here, it's going to probably smear everywhere. So it may work depending on the dyes you're, or you're using. Um, if they don't react with water, you could totally dye them before. Uh, I don't have that kind of dye, so I just decided I would do it this way. So I think this is enough right now. And I'm going to take my bowl here and I'll show you I have another one uh, that will have a different shape. First, let me really, and I'm not protecting my bowl because this is usually what I use for crafting, so I don't really bother. Otherwise, you could protect your bowl with some, um, uh, you know, wrapping paper, um, kitchen plastic. I forgot the name of that, but you know what I mean. Um, the plastic you use in your kitchen to wrap around your dishes or things like that, or your veggies. And I think this is just the right size, actually. So in case you didn't put enough glue and when you want to take it off your bowl, it's, it's again a little flimsy. Well, there's another solution is to put another uh, coat of glue. And I would just go for plain glue this time. First time you mix it with water and then if you miss a spot or you feel it's a bit too flimsy, try to go directly with um, plain glue with no water in it. Usually works really well this way. It's not the first time I do this kind of project and it works just fine. And I want to make these little babies there um, go a little bit on the sides. If they, your doily doesn't want to stay in shape, what you can do is wait a little bit depending on the temperature of your room. It's going to dry faster if it's hotter, obviously. 
but before it's completely dry, you can always come back and try to put all these, um, I mean, your doily in shape really like you want. So once you're happy with it, just leave it to dry. And I'll come back as soon as mine is completely dry. So see you in a minute. All right, so there's something I need to mention after trying different ways is that it is easier, much easier, if you do put a plastic wrap uh, onto your glass than just not doing anything because it's it's gonna be way more easy, like you can see now, to take it away. All right, so now we have our shape, and look at that. It's so different from the two others that I have made. Look at this one, it's lower, this one is even lower, but it's wider. So you can really make a whole bunch of different ones using the exact size. I mean, they're exactly the same and it is still very sturdy. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Uh, the taller it is, uh, maybe if you want to put something in there like pens or things like that, maybe put some rocks on the bottom to make it, you know, um, uh, stay in place otherwise it can maybe fall over now as a decoration i really think leaving them white is my preference after painting these um in different colors of course use acrylic don't use any other kind of of uh, paint use acrylic and don't put more water you just use the paint directly out of the bottle don't add water because otherwise if you miss some spots here it's going to make it a little wetter and it's going to kind of lose its shape a little bit and it's going to come a little you know bleh. i don't really have the word for that i'm sorry but use the paint straight out from the bottle and you won't even have to put a varnish on top you could if you really wanted to make, for example, really shiny, but otherwise the paint is really going to stay there. It's not going to hurt at all. Um, so I think I'm going to really leave mine alone like this, blank. So I'll have different ones and I like the inside too. And I might put some flowers in here like in a glass. And I could maybe use the same glass actually. This one is purple but you could use a transparent one. It's a bit too high but it could be nice. Imagine a smaller um, glass, and it could be nice. You check. You have the the, the 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 color directly inside here, or a little pot with some plants inside. I mean, you can really use this for different things. And when it's over, you can change it. Put some pens inside. Put it on your desk. You could put it also into your uh, bathroom. Why not? So versatile. Versatile. You can use this for many things. All right, so I've prepared some materials here. I decided to do uh, some flowers in pinks and different kinds of purples. And even the pink is going to be a little different. So I've also thought about bringing out some memento inks or you can have distress inks. Any kind of dye base inks will do for this. And I've cut out my flowers. And again, I decided to take some white flowers, big ones and some tiny ones that I have here. And I will put the link to where you can buy them, but they're very cheap on uh, on Amazon or maybe in your local craft stores. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to have your very own colors. So what I'm going to do first is to... I'm going to start with this bigger one because for the video it's going to be easier to watch. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that ink and I'm going to really try first to open my flower so I'm going to hit just the outside of the petals, so you'll still be able to see some white, but it will still be nice. So let's start, and I don't press too much, just a little bit, and I'm not trying to be perfect here, just to hit it with my uh, ink pad, give it a little bit of color, and I think I'm going to make the leaves a little bit darker because they're too, this green is too subtle, too pale for me. And I'm only doing this one in one color, but you could use shades of pinks for the same flower if you wanted to. But I really think that suddenly when you hit that flower with a little bit of that ink, it is very easy. And again, don't press too hard because you might damage maybe your uh, ink pad or use a brush if you feel better. Need to go a little bit inside. I love these little... Um, ink pans. I prefer the small ones to the big ones because also you can get much more for the same amount of money 
more colors. Look at that, done in a few seconds. You could also spray uh, paint them. I'm going to use a, a purple, light purple color. I think it's going to be light. Yes, it is. Hmm, I think I'm running out of uh, ink there. I should uh, buy a re-inker. I don't have any re-inkers in purple. That's not really a color that I use a lot, but I, I tend to change a little bit the way I use my colors. Pink and purple are really going to match perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I put more ink there, but it's not bright enough. So I'm going to hit it a little bit more, at least on the outside, with that darker one. And this, this ink pad is more juicy, so it's going to be even brighter. But, but just hitting the outside of it, and a little bit underneath also. But look at that, we've made our own colored flowers in seconds. I think it's really great. Looks like you've just bought them. What about maybe this color, a more red one? First I need to open it. If you want to wear some gloves, if you don't want to color your fingers, that's fine too. I'm going to be doing this one also. Again, spray paint. I have a video on how to make your own very easily. So for this one, you can do the inside green or white. I what am I going to do actually? I might do the inside green. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the on the leaves here. Just going to do it on my fingers. But these are, you know, water markers or kids brand, so they wash off your fingers very quickly. All right. So, I'm not sure for the center. Make, I think I'm going to make it purple. Let me zoom in a little bit more. All right. And I'm going to use this pink on the outside here. Let me spread out the petals. All right. And now just a little bit like this. All the petals arrange them nicely. Look at that. From that to that. How nice is it? Because I need to have some other kind of color. So I'm going to do the same one with this. I'm going to finish my other and put a little bit of green here. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I think I've made up my mind with the flowers. So I made one a little lighter than the one I made with you. So now I have four different colors here. I've got a dark purple, a lighter one, and very light pink. So I'm just going to make sure of this. And I had this leaf I showed you uh, previously, and I decided to cut it into small pieces. So this one is a fake leaf, and it's a more plasticky flower, um, not flower, but leaf. And I like to take away that plastic piece because it's really annoying and it makes it a bit too stiff. So I just like to take it away, and what I do then, is I just cut other pieces into that leaf. I cut it just the way I want it. So you can go ahead if you have leaves like this, you know, laying around in your in your room. Don't be afraid of cutting them apart into the shape you want. Okay, so I'm gonna start and I'm gonna use hot glue for this because it tends to. Now I'm, am I gonna do it this way? I think I'm gonna put it there. Yeah, I'm going to just apply some glue and let's see, I'm going to put it towards the outside, not towards the inside of my, um, how am I going to do this, how am I going to call this, I mean, 
maybe the other one here or should I put the flowers first I think I'm gonna use the dark and I'm gonna cut this piece the wire use special cutters for this don't use your scissors because it's gonna damage them I'm gonna be generous here and a little bit there too and I'm gonna start by this flower here yep I like it this way um, I'm going to put one leaf going that direction yes and that's almost my favorite moment when I start decorating put it there Don't worry about these glue strings, even though they kind of drive me crazy sometimes. That's fine. I'm going to put the light pink. I'm going to put it there, like against it. I'm going to put another leaf, yes, I'm going to put some glue on top of my leaf and a little bit on the bottom as well, mm, that's good, you should wait a little longer than what I'm doing right now to really make sure they're not going anywhere, all right. Oh gosh, I wish they could make some glue without the strings. Yeah, it's going a little bit inside, but not too much. Um, I think I'm going to put maybe another one. I'm not sure yet. Maybe another one. I think it could handle another flower. Am I going to use the same flowers or maybe something a little... I think that three is not bad, actually. Or I should have put this one more like this. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I've got this. I think I'm going to leave it too pinkish on the side here. And what I like to use also, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, strip of paper. You know, that's the kind of strip of paper you use for making, um, wrapping your presents. And... I want to do the exact same thing I've done here. You see that? I think it's really nice. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And if you don't have this color, you can just use a strip of paper and do the same thing because this is paper anyway. So I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to cut it again in half maybe two more times because I want something really, really thin. There you go. I might take this one actually because it's thinner. And I'm going to use this. And I'm going to start curling it. There you go. I think it brings something that looks a bit airy, lightweight, very girly. And I'm going to put that maybe one flower here. And one flower around there. Yeah, I think I like it this way. So a dab of glue. I'm going to put this little baby there. Hold it for a few seconds. And put more glue here on the back of my flower. Let me put that middle piece down. More glue here. And then I'm going to put it in the middle there. Yeah, and keep it in place just a bit. And there you go. You can make these longer. I think they're good enough according to the size of my flower. I will arrange that as soon as it's, it has dried out or solidify. I'm going to make this one a little smaller. Yep. 
Yep, and I'm going to use this piece here. It's so easy and fun to do. And that could also make like a little basket, you know, for um, for a marriage. The one where you put some petals in. They are carried by little girls usually. Um, where did I say I'm going to put it? Um, maybe here. Yeah, here. Dab of glue. That one here. more glue on the back of my flower and there you go so I made this one purple like a reminder a little brighter because they're smaller I made them a little brighter than the ones I have here and I really think that that is cute Look at that. And I'll show you a little closer later, but it all, all honestly it looks great like this. I might do the same here. I'm not sure actually about putting another flower. Or if I do, should I put it white? Maybe here. Hmm. Let's try this first. Oh, and I forgot something. Yes, I know why it looks empty. I wanted to use these little things. I don't know how you call them, if they're stems or... Um, and I have two different colors here. I've got purple and I've got some pink. And I thought you, I was going to use both of these. Like three and three, maybe. There you go. Oh, my goodness. All these glue strings. And probably try and put that in the middle here. I should have done it before, but... Yeah, I think it's going to look nice. So I'm going to gather them like this and try to center it here. Yeah, behind my two flowers. I think it's good. Okay, so first I'm going to be very generous here with my glue. I'm going to put that around here to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. All right, and then put that here in the middle. So you won't be able to see the glue. And I'll arrange them in just a second. And because there is a wire in there, you're going to be able to really make them go in any direction you want. I'm going to cut all these glue strings. I think it's good. And there's some longer than others. That's what I like. Oh yes, it does look great. It is enough. I don't need another flower for this. I really don't. Look at that. How beautiful is this? Really, honestly. Look at that. I really hope you'll be able to see it because it looks really white on my screen. But isn't that gorgeous? You've got these little flowers there. These buds make the whole difference. And here are these little airy, I don't know if airy is the right term, but it makes, it adds something to it, really. Not much, but it adds a lot. And I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it good. And if you're scared about this scratching, because it is scratchy, your table, if you put this on a wooden table, I would probably put a piece of felt underneath to make it probably a little bit more stable, but also to avoid scratching. But look at that, how nice it is. And again, I'm going to put some pens in here. Look at that. It, you can put some weight also on the bottom because it's so lightweight, you can't even imagine. But it's really high, lightweight. And look at that. Isn't this, it's almost too cute to put some pens in here, but I really love it. And I think that in a, um, 
Not in the kitchen, but in a bathroom, it would look absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. I'm, I I love doing these things. I already know who I am going to offer them to. Uh, I have a friend that loves this kind of color, and uh, that's going to be perfect. So, yeah, tell me what you thought. Which one do you prefer? I'm going to show you the other ones I made previously. Let me go back. All right, so I have this one in different colors, just to show you that you don't have to stick with orange and greens like I did here, just using some leaves again, and this one here. I might reshape this little leaf again uh, to make it a little bit more pointy, but look at that. And I still can put a lot of things in here. Different sizes, different depth, different decorations, different colors. Um, it's really up to you, but I think that white is absolutely perfect. It could be some kind of beige or eggshell color. That would be nice. You could put some tool also maybe on the side. I mean, it's so versatile. You can do every time something completely different. So tell me, please, which one do you prefer? The one I just made with you, the others that are very different, but the same kind of idea. And please give me some thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button. And also please share on social medias. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave me some comments if you have any questions or if you just want to come by and say hello. I always come back to you and see you soon. Take care.